in the world of sales, is it true that people buy on emotions and justify with logic? Come on, is that true? Can it be true? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales, a perfect day to talk about closing, and a perfect day to talk about emotions and sales. And I guarantee you at some point in your sales career, this has happened to you. You're sitting at the table, and you, you're talking to the buyer and they're like, they give you some objection and like all of a sudden you turn into like the factinator, right? Like you've got tons of facts and you've got all this proof and you've got all these things to go over and you just dump a tons of facts on people and they don't buy from you. And you're like, what happened? Like I had the superior argument. Well, that's cool, but I wanna introduce you to a study done by Antonio Damasio and here's what he did. He went and studied and looked at people who had damage to their limbic part of their brain, but their neocortex was fine. And what he found was because the limbic part of your brain controls emotions, they were not able to make a decision. Now, the cool thing is if you read Pitch Anything, Oren Clough talks about this in Pitch Anything. So what he found was that people could be all the rational they want in the world, but the start, the seed, the beginning of the sales process begins with emotion, right? I could look at a significant person that could be a significant, I could look at somebody who could be a significant person in my life and I'm, I'm like, fact, 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 perfect height, perfect hair, perfect teeth, and like all the other party parts that you pick. I'm gonna leave that up to you. But ultimately, at the end of the day, that's not really what makes that decision. It could be the connection, could be a whole bunch of other things, but we can look at stuff and go, facts? Really, are you kidding me? If you ever get a chance, Dan Kennedy gave a pre presentation at the Titans of Direct Response, and he's got a perfect explanation for facts. He says, look, you know, what it comes down to is if you really wanted to come to this event, you could have written a bunch of facts on the back of a postcard and people would have showed up and there would have been like two or three people. But what really got the people to buy was emotional manipulation. And I think sometimes this is uncomfortable for salespeople to hear that when you're selling, you are doing a form of emotional manipulation. And what you're gonna find is people will say, well, all forms of manipulation are bad. But you know, that's not true because look at the facts, look at the facts. People say smoking's bad, that is a good fact. But emotionally, people are like, man, not that big of a deal. Right? People will say, hey, eat healthy because it's important for you. And I'm like, uh, yeah, not that big of a deal. So you got to know that in order to get people to make a purchasing decision from you, there is going to have to be some emotional buy-in. And this is one of the reasons why you should know how to anchor because anchoring is a really cool thing and it gets people to do stuff that like you would never guess that they would have done. Right? Tom Vizzini is a perfect guy to talk to about that. Uh, persuasion persuasionskills.com. I'll put a link down in the box below, but you should know anchoring because it would really help you out and you'd be good to go, okay? So there you go. Does emotion make the sale? Absolutely. People buy on emotion and justify with logic, okay? So if you just pay attention to the study I told you about with Antonio Damasio from Italy, where he said, hey, look, here's the damaged part of the brain that is the emotional part, and then over here is the part that makes logical decisions, and one of them's missing, it just doesn't happen. Makes perfect sense to me. So you got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button in the box down below, click on subscribe, and every time I send out a video, I'll be like, Scott, Silver Bell, nope. Scott Bell Consultant sent out a video. You should watch it, which you should, because it'll be cool, it'll be amazing, and you'll love it. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.